Hey WordPress League, I am going to throw that back again with another new episode and this time I will show something interesting to you and this is that much interesting it will it will be very much fascinated with this thing. Actually uh, the world is uh, the world of the web have no limit has no limit. Currently I found uh, I got so many uh, traffic from several regions that I never thought I get traffic from these regions so I get traffic from Europe and Europe areas in uh, some native languages speakers are from uh, on the Europe Italy and, and French and, and other 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 friends from other side of the world and uh, other side of the world I'm sorry other side of my region at the US regions are commonly uh, now and then traffic uh, visit on my site gtrot.com from that whenever i just found that thing i just think uh, it could be better for everyone also i got, I got traffic from india also so uh, people are from these regions might be they be ha helpful if i create a multilingual site but when i come to start digging into the things i get is so much challenging you have to pay lots of money but uh, you know uh, some deep kind of technical knowledge in creating this uh multilingual site so i was so much frustrated but i am not here to share my frustration with you i'm here to share a solution with you so i was in the problem and i bring out a solution a simple solution and so that you can create a multilingual website within a two minutes yes you can create a multilingual website within a two minutes and it's so easy just plug and play and the plugin i have a plugin and this plugin will do the rest and just plug and play so i'm not taking your time too much uh, so as i have shared it will take two minutes so let's see how it can be done so uh, this is my test site. I want to. I have already uh, in installed WooCommerce uh, here to te for checking purpose for creating an interesting thing with you, uh, for you. So for this purpose, I'm just here creating a WooCommerce interface for them. And I want to. Uh, this is my testing site, as I previously shared in several videos. Uh, so I want to uh, translate and uh, share it with you in this section, uh, in this page, uh, in, in this site actually. So how I can do that. So in this case, I will uh, jump on this plugin. This is the plugin, G Translate. It's reason place to, the name is uh, literally, name is uh, related to my name actually. This is my channel name, just G dot up there. And this plugin name is G Translate. I am so much fascinated with the name. <laughs> I'm just kidding, moving up, moving forward. And this is the plugin, G uh, Translate WordPress with G Translate. That means that Google Translate. It will help you to uh, translate your whole website uh, within a single click. And it's a very easy to use. And let's do well and see how many installation is this. And how many five iterations the plugin get. So, my dear friends, it's quite easy. So, moving forward to the next step, I'm just copying the name. I just don't want to messing around with my things. So, to jump on that, log in your website, navigate to your add new plugin section, hop in this section, paste the name. Hola, this is the plugin. Translate WordPress with you translate. Click install, activate it from here. That's it. This is the plan. You can go to the settings space from this section by clicking here, or you can go to the settings space from the settings section from the left sidebar of your WordPress dashboard and jump on this section, Z Translate. All the pages will redirect to the settings with all the name all the sections so i'm just hit on that so this is the plugin and this is the overall interface i have tested this plugin in this site so this is not be the default uh, the default would be something like that uh so this is the thing the widget this is the widget area so the widget that means uh the uh, button from where the visitor and the traffic or 
your website visitors can change the language from which well, by, by clicking which thing this is the thing this is the button so this thing will be appear in the website uh, you can show anywhere you want but there is some quick tips so you can show it very easily so let's go through the setting quest it's not so difficult it's so easy so don't be panic hold on your say I'm sharing everything only the these things this is the pro so don't uh, play with these sections it will not happen anything so as we are using the free version so this is the thing you can say it let's check how the wizard look like you can say uh, I just want to increase the size so you we can easily check that so uh, the wizard look how it look like nice drop with flag flags and then drop down section okay drop and down come on only flags flags with the language name and the flags with the language code and uh, language only language names and the language codes and glue this is the most interesting thing is like that <laughs> some play button actually but it's not user friendly no some people will not and understand will not understand what is the thing is that so this will not be helpful but i found this is helpful something interesting come up uh, will be coming up in the next this is the beta program so if you're using in the live site don't use that uh, it will be messing it will be a mess for your set but i like this thing this template so i'm using it and you also uh, set your uh, native language actually the native language is your website language which in which language you have written for your uh, the contents of your website so i am using uh, i am right i have written this long, uh, website contents uh, in english so i have selected this in english and if you have anything just click here and set the language now you can add analytics here and also auto switch to your browser language to the browser language that means if uh, a traffic uh, visitors come to your website and the language uh, it can detect your your website will detect the browser's language and it will change the website content according to the user's uh, native language the visitor's native language based on their browser's language settings so see the so much interesting thing you just click on that it will do the rest auto switch to browser language i have covered that show it in the mail so you have several options so you can uh, show why it can be shown and actually it's a menu that means uh, the mm, plugin can be shown in the web so I just select this is the horizontal menu I will come on the letter so I'm just keeping in the next and so there are four types of menu options sorry uh, this is the five types of menu options in my team I'm using the 2020 theme so these are the menu options so you can uh, use these type of menu options uh, if your team has the mode then you can select from the mode so I'm currently set it now none so I'll show it on later so uh, the show the floating language sector that's be a very interesting thing and uh, actually it will be the flute from the top or the bottom or the bottom to the top and something like that so there are so many options that the top left top left no scroll that means it will be positions in the top section on the left side but it will not scroll this section if you select that and if you say the top right that means in the top right and if you see the top right no scroll it will not really scroll so i have selected the top right with scroll that means someone just scroll in your website it will float from the top to bottom so that's it this is the thing and show the native language names uh, so you can say it and from here as i previously you just saw i just changed the widget size uh from here the flag size these are the four flag size already available here you can say the minimum 16 px it was pixel and you can say the maximum 48 pixels it's up to you but i will go to i'll go i will have to with the 32 pixels okay monochromic flags monochromic flags that means you can set the monochromic color it will be the monochromic i don't want to do that i love 
the real color of the flax. It's interesting, so that we want to see the real color. And the most interesting part, you can select all the languages by clicking the select check all. I don't want to do that because I am with the happy with the default settings. Oh, uh, I am from Bangladesh, so I am I have selected the language is here Bangladesh. So I have uh, Indian visitors also. So I like to search the Hindi. Hindi is it available here? Oh my gosh, Hindi is not available here. Oh, uh, is Hindi here? In the language is the Hindi here. So I have selected that. And uh, Italiano is also available here. French, uh, my friend is uh, coming from the French. So I hope this will also available here. So I know I don't know the old language. So all these things are quite great. So I'm using this and you can check the alternative flags if the flags has different type of flags so you can they have also set it there so this is all about something interesting happened if you face that things i will show you so all the settings are done if you're happy with the settings these are the settings so easy you can do easily nothing must record all the in uh, easily written on this language so this is so easy i think so and just hit the set changes button Oh my gosh, you got a needle. Don't worry. Right back, click. I have issues in savings. Then hit the save changes. All the things are done. So I have set the button, widget button here in the top right of my website. So let's check. The widget button is here. It's floating from the top right section. Now I want to change the content of this site. So it could be very easy if I change in different languages. I want to translate in the Bangla. Bangla. Shagoto. <laughs> this is my Bangladesh and this is the homepage and the language already. Translated. So easy. Also, it's also translated the WooCommerce. Let's check. This is the checkout page. So it's also it's already checkout uh, translated the checkout page as well in the home page, and now it's already checkout. See. It's a very much interesting. It's it's covered almost all the things. So uh, in the free version. Now I want to uh, say the Hindi. It's now in the Hindi. I don't read in. I cannot read in Hindi, but, but I speak a bit. So moving forward, I just set it in the. So it can you can easily translate your e-commerce site as well. If you have a global audience, if if you're selling your product globally. So this free tool will save your back and help you to boost yourself by creating a native language site. So these are the things. And you can see anything. But there is a missing around thing. Uh, it's overflow, uh, overflow in the my menu section. So if you were mm, want to fix this there's a quick fix just changes the pixel size it will be done let's see see it's done one more thing it has an issue uh, with the when it floats it has an issue so if you don't uh, want to use the pop-up just use this section this have an interesting thing it comes with the dark mode and the light mode setting you can change the everything from here visual editing features so go there hit that and save changes this will solve your problem as well i think so let's check see the problem has been solved 
you can read. But I uh, want to use the pop-up button. If you want to use the pop-up button like me, so there is a quick fix I already made for myself and you have to make your hands dirty. How we can do that? So I just, for you, easy interface, I have uh, already done the little bit CSS thing for you. You have to do some research code. I will give the CSS code. If you're using the same theme uh, of your website, uh, the 2020 theme, that will be work great there. But uh, if you're using the different different theme, but don't be happy, uh, upset. Uh, I'm giving the code. The class names will be the same. So you would have to just uh, use the class name to uh, make thing make the right things for you so if you uh, want to make changes the the overlapping sections you have to add the background color the background color can be added with this thing just I am adding an uh, extra padding so it will help me a bit to cover up the whole section and I am adding the extra background color white so my side color the most of the section of my side color is white so I have added this uh, if you want to check the changes it's a red in red so I uh, am using the yellow so it will be helpful for everyone see the yellow it's already reflected here uh, I want to you if you want to use the green uh, green yellow it's already here so I am happy with the white section white color so it's not now overlapping my things see I'll I'll share the code in my description so you can use the code and make the things happen it's a very easy tool very easy you just you have to navigate in the customize uh, of your website uh, and go where you can add this code uh, it's a very easy I'm sh I will share you go to the customize section you can navigate from here of your uh, dashboard menu also if you want to uh, just here from me I just want to show you you can navigate your WordPress back end uh, da dashboard back end uh, back out back <laughs> sorry back end then uh, go to the appearance and from here in the second option the customize to do the same thing the customize then go to the additional CSS and paste the code here it will done the rest okay one more thing if you uh, want to use the 32 pixel to make it more visible to everyone so there might be a challenge in the menu section of this uh, side let's check it's also overlapping my menu section I have also written the CSS code only for also for this section so let's add this CSS for this section too so it will solve your problem as well very easy I, I will uh, I will show the uh, CSS I will definitely add the CSS code uh, in my description so so that you can use them very easily so I'm not doing it here from here so I am just uh, the by default the primary menu has a minus rm rm this is the another uh, uh, this is we are usually uh, in the pixel mode the rm is the another format of the pixel so you can add rm so it's it's on the negative mode so if you want to if you see this is the negative mode so i have just removed the negative version and added the point zero eight it's that's now down there and hit the publish button and now we can check uh, it's overlapping here and uh, you have just added the extra code so it's now pretty cool so this code also available will be available in the description I will give it that so uh, if you're using the 2020 team then this will be the helpful for you otherwise you have to find your own uh, to uh, if you're using the different team this is the thing 
and I want to show something interesting uh, which was I don't want to show the no I'm setting it here I want to show it in the uh, horizontal menu of my side this is the thing okay mm -hmm. uh -huh. all right so it's available in my menu section but there is a glitch in the menu section I will share the information with them the, uh, if I add the uh, widget here the pop-up will not work here will uh, work the drop down another also I just say hit the refresh button command R select the language fancies Yo. it will be easy if we saw bonjour the mode hello world <laughs> so I I, I, I I can't speak in that but uh, in movies I want to see say the different languages I want to go back hello world and another interesting thing you can add uh, the widget in the widget section of your website you can manage it from here in the widget section uh, from the appearance you have to go to the widget section I'm jumping on the widget section I have already added in in my fo footer uh, the widget is G trans so this is the thing the thing is here already here change language at you only now I have added all the things here and you can uh, share the all the method how we can easily add the language how we can easily change the thing and if you have an issue you can how we can fix this so this is the so much easiest way I ever found to create a multilingual website in a short note and you can easily and sorry how we can easily manage. One more thing, if you have the chance to buy their premium version, then there is an extra benefit you will get. You will get the search engine indexing facility, you will get the search engine search in fact, uh, friendly uh, URLs and human level natural a neural uh, translation and edit translations manually so these are the important things if you're mm, in the uh, if you want to do these type of things then you have to go the paid version so it's up to you the link will be I will give the link uh, so I don't have I don't want to use it I, I will not use any affiliate link I'm not affiliated with them so if you're interested so go with them it's a very cheap planning as I have as I, I, I got the information from here as well the 7.99 dollar per month if you want to go that then you can use this and you also try the free for seven, 15 days it's up to you there my friend so if you're interested if you like this visual video so hit the thumbs up button and if you're interested then let me know i will create this type of things for you and this is going to be the signing up for now tata see you video see you in the next time stay connected stay healthy be happy